during the installation of the phone, we've got many options. We can um, hook the phone up directly to the back of the ONT. Um, there is a phone connection on the back of the device. The line one possible of two separate numbers. Um, a, a base phone can be plugged in here with many portables and you can avoid house wiring altogether if it's an issue. Um, some people like to just plug their base phone in here, have the base phone sitting in this location, and then have multiple portables throughout. In this installation, we've got a customer that wants uh, just a couple outlets hooked up. They've had some wiring issues in the past, and they want to uh, alleviate as many wires as possible. <clears throat> we could run a line from here and feed the entire house as it's being fed right now and activate every outlet. Uh, in this case, like I've mentioned, there's, there's many areas where they've got some concerns about the wiring. And it's shorting out some stuff and causing some problems and static. So we're just going to hook up a couple lines and uh, bypass the rest of the house wiring. So we're going to be running a line from here to the faceplate that I installed earlier, changing it out and putting a phone connection in there. And then in the basement, we're just going to hook up the two lines that they want. <clears throat> we're doing some investigating here to find out um, what's wired into this jack, um, what access we have to lock existing wiring. Okay, so what we discovered is there's uh, two phones that want uh, need connections. One of the phones goes directly into the basement. The other phone's the other side of the room. It also has access straight into the basement. So we're going to make new connections in the basement um, just to feed those phone lines. We're not going to, we're going to bypass uh, the rest of the wiring. So this, this junction here is not going to be used anymore. A customer does not want it active. Uh, and anytime we can take something out of the loop that may be causing a problem. Found several corroded wires here and there, just from the, the age of the phone lines. It, this, this is about the time frame most phone lines are causing problems, so we're going to bypass as many of those as we possibly can. Ran fiber to this location. Uh, customer decided to add phone services, so we are adding phones. We're going to take the same existing junction that we used before for the fiber. We're going to change out this face plate to allow us to put a second connection in the same face plate. Um, so we don't have to make any more holes or uh, cut any more holes in the walls or in the basement. Right now. Up in the bottom of there, make those connections after the fact, and then that way we can tie everything in. Okay, now that we've identified the wiring, um, the customer wants hooked up, uh, we're able to uh, extend one of the wires here with a new line, and the other line we were able to get through that same junction. So basically, all, everything we've got connected inside the house from the new line we ran to the new cutout we've done is all going to go in the same face plate and all that will be ran back out. So we're going to connect these two wires to a connector for the face plate and then install a two port face plate instead of a single and then the fiber will come through here and the telephone lines will go back out through here. Okay, that'll be installed in the faceplate. We're going to tie in these pairs we've got exposed. To feed the outlets customer needs access to.
But in that same faceplate now, we're going to have both connections, the fiber and the telephone service. Now that the wall plate's back on, we're going to uh, plug the fiber back in and then we're going to connect up the telephone service to the back of the ONT. We can turn dial tone back here, then in this case customer is keeping an existing number, so we've requested that number be ported and made available to our service so that phone number right now will go from another provider over to Irwin Utilities. So now the internet and telephone service are both coming out of our device. A few more connections on the phone, take care of, check services, make sure we have dial tone in both locations and the telephone service will be up and running. Okay, so this is the additional line the customers want to tie it in. Uh, we're going to remove as much of it as humanly possible. Take out any bad spots. Uh, all these lines have been in the basement and they've been dry, so they're in pretty good shape. So this will be the last connection we're going to make here. We'll tie in the new line that we ran with the original line, and uh, that will connect the other telephone. Yeah, some little. the last connection we're making, taking out as much of the original phone line as possible. Um, phone lines are pretty dry, so we're not really concerned about them too much. So this will connect in the other outlet the customers want connected, and we are bypassing as much of the house wiring as possible, so the customer won't have any issues down the road. Now we're sending and receiving a call, making sure the number has been ported properly. So we sent a call from the customer's phone to a cell phone, the cell phone back to make sure it's sending and receiving, making sure that the number has been ported properly. Yeah,